today's video, we're going to be talking about how to install fonts for um, PowerPoint. It's very, very easy. And uh, let's just get into it. If you are new or returning, welcome. Here it is, our primary. We talk teacher side hustles. And we're doing some mini videos where it's just one simple tutorial. But before we start, as a reminder, and I said this in the previous video when it came to my favorite TPT tools, I'll put a thumbnail right there. You need commercial use fonts. If you are using Google Slides, you cannot upload fonts. Sorry, you can't. There is a workaround. If you want to see it in action, post a comment down below and I will do that for you. But right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add fonts to your PowerPoint. Okay. So <laughs> this is my old, this is almost 10 years old, this, this Mac. I'm, it's on its last legs. I'm, it's starting to shake <laughs> a little bit. So I thought I better get a new one. So I have the, a, a new Mac in front of me here. So I purchased PowerPoint for Business, which I mentioned, but there are no fonts. Now, PowerPoint has its own fonts and you are welcome to use them. Many people will use Times New Roman, but I'm, I personally, it's not the best for students. You need a cleaner one. So what we're gonna do is, and I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to TPT and we're going to find some fonts. Now I'm going to share with you some fonts that I have and what I've done because there are many fonts available for free. The catch always is they're for personal use only and you have to pay for a commercial license. I'm going to talk a little bit while I'm showing you my screen. So let's go to the word fonts. Okay. And if you notice, one of the most popular is KG fonts. It's the third one down. Okay. That is the one that I, I don't know if someone suggested them to me or I just found them. I can't remember, but I still use them the most. And that is Kimberly Gerswain. Guess, guess Swain. It's Kimberly Guess Swain fonts, KG. But there are many other ones. What I would do is find one, pick three of their fonts, and then use them for a while. Make all your products, your covers, everything with those fonts. If you have Canva Pro, you are allowed to upload your own fonts and use them on there. I mentioned League Spartan. That's a nice, clean one. You will see it on many of my covers. But I've also uploaded KG fonts onto my Canva Pro because I am allowed to on Pro. On the free account, you are not. So let us let me just click on KG Fonts just so you can see this. So KG Fonts, you can see right here, commercial use fonts. So by purchasing this bundle here, you can use all of these and sell the products with using these fonts, okay? And she usually gives you, as do many of the other font artists, they usually give you five to 10 fonts. And if you notice, this one is a theme. It's a, called the primary collection. So these are fonts that kindergarten, pre-kindergarten, like preschool, kindergarten, grade one, grade two, need because there's inter, interline. That's that dotted line between the lines. That's what my kids use. They need it. And even at this point of the year with one and a half days, many of them still need those dotted interlines. They cannot keep their letters of the right size and formation without them. There are these ones and she gives you dotted lines. So you could actually make some dotted uh, resources, but you may not want that. Maybe you're too itchy and look great. Right. We go down just a little bit farther. Here's another one. So again, you're looking for some clean, clear fonts. Okay. And if you're not fussy on these ones that I'm showing you, you can go to another one. But before I do that, you can download individual fonts and that's usually free. So let's actually, let's go to her store for a second. Basic neat. Okay. That's what we're looking for. So one of them that I have used in the past here is KG blank space. If you get it as a solid and as a sketch, you can see the lines in it. That's free, but it says personal use. So 
in that case, so what I did was, is I downloaded this back when I started, uh, this one, and then what happened is I needed to use it for commercial use. So what she has, I don't know if it's gonna be here or not. She has a buy a license. Hmm, let me see, if, oh, there it is, okay, like extra licenses. Okay. So here it is, here, a single font license is $5. So if you think about it, you can download three uh, fonts of your choice and buy three commercial use licenses for $15. Or you can just go to one of her font packages. Let's see if we can find a, actually let's go to her bundles. And her some of her bundles are less than $15. So for example, if I look at this one right here, there's some nice clean fonts for $12. And you get actually one, two, three, four, five. You get five fonts for $12. So it saves you some money if you like those fonts. One of the things that she has also on here, and I think some of the other ones do too, and I gotta remember where, I gotta try and remember where it is though. She gives you font pairing guide, it's free. Font tips, you can go on here, you can go here and she'll tell you. Actually, let's, go, let's open up her preview. So if you like this font, I don't know if I can make this bigger. You want a nice clean one. And then if you want a little script, just add a little bit of style. Don't use it a lot, sparingly, really. Then she gives you the script and it can give you ideas. And she can show you some different things of how you can use her fonts. Okay, that's, that's free. I would use it. In fact, I did. <laughs> but you can find font pairing guides. You can find them even on Canva. Another font artist is, it's called APL, but KA is another one. So here she's got a font bundle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like, for 750. So we just gotta check to see if this includes commercial use. So let us find it. Okay, terms of use, there's our terms of use. Commercial use for all fonts are allowed. Okay, so that when she says all fonts, she's saying all fonts in this resource. So you've got this nice clean one called School Notebook, and then you got a couple script type ones that would go with it. That's actually a nice one. I like that School Notebook one. Yeah, it's very clean. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna wish list that one maybe during the next sale because I like her Honey Lane script here too. That's nice and clean, easy to read. Her Love Star is a bit yeah, that's okay too. But that's what, that's what I'm saying is spend a little bit of time, but don't, you can do this all day. I tend to remember when I first was looking at fonts, I took hours, 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 because there was just so many. It, it, you can, you can just, that's all you, you can waste a complete, you can waste a whole weekend doing this. Uh, but that's another one. And then there's a primary, a primary life, a, pr a primary kind of life. I think that's a primary kind of life. Yeah. Okay. So primary APL font. Here is actually, I'll, I'll see if I can find, oh yeah, this is one I bought back in 2021 again. So I like this one. Okay. So here's a clean one. Kinder Peeps. You got a, a, a skinnier version of it. Okay. And she shows you different ways of what things you can do with it. And once you buy this, and it says down here in terms of use, terms of use, this is a single user license. That means you can't share this. One buyer use the font on multiple devices. So I could put it on both computers, no problem. And it's for personal and commercial. So one of the things that she even writes on here, Okay, important, you should be aware that fonts are not downloadable onto Google. So Google Slides, Google whatever, Docs, you cannot take these and upload them. Let's just say I have this one and I do, I'm gonna actually download it. So what I do is, and I haven't even done it on this computer yet, I'm gonna go into my Lacey, um, this, that's my hard drive. It looks like, I don't know if you can see that, this little orange guy, Amazon. Uh, anyways, I'm going to make a new folder that just says fonts. So I'm going to put them all in one place. Create. Save. With this particular font, 
it is a bundle, right? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, five fonts. It's going to come through when you download it as a zip folder. What that means is they've taken this big file and because it's too big, they've got to compress it to get it on to the website. You have a limit of the size of file that you can upload to TPT, Etsy, or any of the marketplaces. So by compressing it, it gets under the limit and then all people have to do is open it back up to its original size. So for me on the Mac <clears throat> and even on my PC, all I had to do is, and you can't quite see it here. Let me actually get out of this screen for a second. Okay, here's my whole screen. Now, when I hit download over to the right corner towards the top, you can see an arrow going down with a line. So that's where all my downloads are. So I'm going to click in there and there it is, APL fonts. So I'm going to click on it and then it flips over to the utility. You saw it really fast because it's a newer computer and now it's opened it up into fonts. So I have the zip there and I have the actual font. So I'm going to open this up and in order to get this into my PowerPoint, I have to take the files that say TTF, you can see them there, there are five of them. Okay, so I'm going to actually put, let me just take a look at the picture here. I'm gonna put Kinder Peeps uh, and Apple Heart Eyes for now, okay? So I'll do one script and one uh, clean, easy to read. Okay, so that one's Kinder Peeps. So, and I'm going to double click it. This is in the Mac. I think, I think PC, when I used to have a PC, was pretty similar. You can let me know in the comments if it's a little different. So I click on it twice, and then it, the font shows up. Okay, so there's the uppercase, there's the lowercase. You're going to go to install, and these are all my fonts on, my, on this Mac. Okay, let me go for my fonts. There it is, right there. Okay. And it gives, tells, shows you all the little extra letters that you get with it. Now I'm also going to put in there, I think it was heart eyes. So I'll put a heart eyes. So double click it. One, two. It opens up this preview. So that's what it looks like. It's very script. I don't think I would use it. Not for primary. I might put it on a cover. Uh, so hit install again. And it shows up into my fonts. There it is. So now I have them. And I can close this up. I can go into PowerPoint, but I have a feeling, and I will just double check this. So let me open up PowerPoint. So let's just open up a blank one. And I'll get rid of that for now. This is just a sample. I would resize this. You go to design and then over to slide size, page setup, and then put in what you need. And I go to custom because letter size, interesting enough, is the wrong way. Watch this. Yes, I want it the other way. So here's my paper now. I'm going to go to insert a text box. Okay, so I'm going to drag a text box in and then I'm going to go to home and I'm going to go to my fonts here. So these are all the fonts that PowerPoint provides and there's lots okay you just don't want to buy any fonts at the moment you can use these ones because this this is a business license okay when I purchase this okay so one of them was called because I went past the A's AP so as you can see oh they're there okay as far as I know you can't be in PowerPoint when you install if you are in PowerPoint you got to shut PowerPoint down and restart your computer. So if it if they don't show once you've installed, just restart your computer, okay? Uh, so here's Kinder Peeps, and I'll say, hello. Welcome to It's All Primary. Okay, and that's, that's a nice looking, easy for kindergarten primary grades to read.
Should I put a double, uppercase W there? Center it. There we go. Um, I can also change welcome to the other one. Let's see what it looks like. APL. It's not bad. Okay. And you can bold them. You can spread them out. You can do all sorts of things. Okay. That is how you install a font. Let me just quickly show you uh, just a difference in fonts. So this one right here is your Times New Roman. And then this one here is APL, that's the Kinder Peeps. These titles here is another APL called Border Hoarder. And then if I go to another page, this is KG. This is Miss Kindergarten right here, which is one I use a lot. And this is the other one I use a lot, which is called Second Chance Solid. And it's also, it's a two-part type font where you get Second Chance Solid and, and Second Chance Sketch, where actually, I don't know if I put that one up. Let me just see if I did that one. Second Chance Sketch. You can't quite see it with this one. It works better as a title, Second Chance Sketch. You can see what it does, right? So you can see the difference with why fonts are so popular. They really can change the look of your resources. If you know another way to install fonts that's even faster, I, I find that this is actually fast, but if you know a faster way, pop them down in the comments below. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy, and we'll catch you in that video or the playlist. See ya.